What I came to is a palpable gratitude and acceptance that Paul and Jen are choosing each other to practice extending their values and love throughout their lives to one another. And like this willow tree, they are choosing to do this within all the seasons life brings. Those years where there's more storms, more humidity, but also on those perfect weather days where they can stop and see how far they've come. Jenny, for the past few years, and now I get to tell you some of those thoughts in front of our family and friends. Um, I tried to say some of these things when I asked you to marry me. Um, turns out even after eight years, I was still really nervous and didn't come out like that. I still vividly remember the first time I saw you in your dorm room. You even discussed that with a couple of these guys today. My look to you was probably, whoa, I'm, I'm speechless. I don't really know what to say. While your gaze towards me was one of kindness and beauty. I remember going back to my dorm telling my roommate that I might have found the prettiest girl at UT. We spent the rest of that weekend together. At that point, I realized sometimes you come across an undeniable connection that nourishes your being and matches the type of support that you're looking for. Fast forward almost nine years and here we are. Your friendship over that time has meant everything. From our trips traveling through the West, sleeping in the back of my car, in Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, to sleeping in a tent with the rain downpouring on us the morning after we got engaged, I knew we could get some, through some things. I cannot believe we were finally standing here, almost nine years from the day that we met. From that very first hello, I was hooked, and our connection was instantaneous. I still remember those moments when I looked into your eyes and the overwhelming feeling of safety and comfort I felt. We were just kids back then, right out of high school, on a new adventure, college, with each movie night, fraternity date party, an anxiety-ridden football game. Our connection grew. All of our friends compared us to a fairy tale or quote unquote goals. And that's exactly what it felt like, a fairy tale. Too good to be true. But here we stand, nine years later, and the love that I felt for you back then is still as true as it is now. This relationship with you has been so gentle and supportive. It has been so easy to love you as you are so caring in every aspect of the human. I went into college wanting to grow as a person, I quickly found out it was way more fulfilling to grow with you by my side. The only thing we may need to work on are the amount of Dallas Cowboys jerseys you have who you're rooting for on Sundays. We can work on that. Part of growing up is realizing what you value the most, and I value you the most. The only constant in this world is change, but you're always there, and we will grow together and change together. You act purely from instinct and heart, and there's no greater example of appreciation and kindness in my life. I look forward to the next chapter and the future memories we will make. I love you. in Bells, Tennessee, amongst all of our family and friends that we love so wonderfully. We have both grown up so much, both individually and together as a couple. Our relationship has had great times, phenomenal times, with wonderful memories and countless adventures. Our relationship has also had sad times. We face hardships, tough losses, and we've done those together. And that's what I love so much about our relationship. It makes me confident that no matter what we go through in life, we'll be okay because we'll do this together. From the day that I met you, I knew you were my forever. My forever best friend, partner in crime, and my heart and soul. I couldn't have pictured a better person for my life, my husband, and a future father to our kids. The words that we share today can't possibly describe our love, but they're felt by the way that you look at me, the comfort that you give me, and the life that you've supported us with. I did, I do, and I will always choose you, today and every day, for the rest of our lives. I love you. We're gathered here to celebrate the love of these two precious people, to make this both simple yet fun, full of presents, and just a good time. 
Jen, I give you this ring as a symbol of my love, as it encircles your finger. May it remind you always that you are surrounded by my enduring love. Paul, I give you this ring as a symbol of my love, as it encircles your finger. May it remind you always that you are surrounded by my enduring love. Paul, do you accept Jen as your wife? I do. Jen, do you accept Paul as your husband? Absolutely, I do. By the power invested in all of us, by your absolute love, it is my honor to then announce you as husband and wife. You may now kiss. you encourage and empower Jen to find her voice, to gain confidence in herself, and to know her worth. We've all both seen you take care of each other after an awesome Balls Day game. And if that isn't true love, I don't know what is. Example of love, and I wish you a lifetime of happiness, health, success, and laughter. And may you continue to find humor in uh, the bad times and appreciation. There was one word I said about Jen, and uh, that was precious. When I first met her in 2012, I mean, it was one of those immediate things where. Not 10 words probably have come out of your mouth and like this is a sincere, genuine, precious person. Literally nine years later, I can say that she's never done anything to change that at all. Oh, yeah.